10 seconds to go. Remember now, this is a one-way street. Forward, you understand? All right, gang, let's take them. Follow me. It's loaded. It's got bullets, loud ones. God, this is supposed to be a battle. We can't have a battle without bullets. Well, stop the rain, stop the rain. Stand back, boys, will you? Yes, yeah, stand oh, back, stand back. Stand oh, oh, I feel dizzy. I think I'm going to faint. Where's Bert? Bert! 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 That's me! Get me out of this trunk. Bert! What's the matter, oh. boss? Take it easy. I'll get you a chair. Never mind the chair. Get me a quart of blood. Here, oh. sit down, Don. Sit down. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. What's the idea? You promised me there wouldn't be any shooting. Oh, but, Don, they were only blanks. I don't care. I can't stand the noise. You said you'd put in the sound later. I meant the artillery stuff. I didn't think a few little pistol shots would bother you. Well, they do, I tell you. I, I can't stand it. I even jump when somebody cracks his knuckles. I'll go get some brandy. Just get me some water. Some water! They're shooting some battle scenes today, Colonel. Would you care to watch? Oh, yes. Battle scenes should be very interesting. And quite a novelty, too, eh, Dad? Mm -hmm. Listen, I used a Sam Brown belt for a teething ring, and I was weaned on a canteen. <laughs> Can't we see something in a more romantic mood? Well, our great screen lover, Ronald Dedare, is uh, home in bed today. Really? What's the matter? His hangnail is acting up again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, back on the set in 15 minutes. Feeling OK now, boss? I'm fine, but I'll have to have somebody iron out my goose pimples. Picture business. Terrible, isn't it? What you have to go through to make a fortune. Maybe you ought to stay home tonight for a change. I'd like to, but I got a heavy date, and you're driving. Every night a different day, and 30 gals a month is your quota. Yeah, I wish they'd do something about February. Oh, boy, get a knife full of the honey with Steve. All right, Stanley, start rounding up your people. Mm, that's a bundle. She looks like Dorothy Lamore with clothes on. It must be quite a struggle to achieve success in Hollywood. Oh, no, you just have to know which fork to use and which knife to stick in whose back. I... <laughs> oh, Don. <clears throat> Miss Fairbanks, I want you to know my client, Mr. Don Bolton. Oh, how do you do, Miss Fairbanks? How do you do? Oh, pardon the left hand. The right one is paralyzed. How awful. Yes, signing too many autographs. Your face seems very familiar, Mr. Bolton. Oh, yes, you've probably seen it around the country, plastered all over barnyards and chicken coops and stables. <laughs> well, I suppose somebody has to keep the cows contented. <laughs> yes, they do. Mr. Bolton, would you grant me a great favor? Oh, well, all right, if it'll make you happy. I've always wondered if that were your real nose. Thank you. If you press a little harder, water squirts out of the button. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not doing one of my love scenes today, Miss Fairbanks. You'd be thrilled. You think so? Oh, I know so. When I play one of my hot love scenes, the camera perspires. How exciting. Oh, yes. I've toasted many a leading lady. Oh, you're wonderful. Well, I'm sort of a Madeline Carroll with muscles. Really? Uh, more blood. Make me braver. Uh, how would you like to see the movie star's homes, Miss Fairbanks? I'd love to. Oh, that's fine. We'll start with my house. Dinner at eight, all right? Uh, this is a private conversation, bud. No extras in the scene. Run along, will you? Oh, but Mr. Bolton... Then... What? You heard me, Boy Scout. Now go find your spear and sit down. How do you get so clean, anyway? Why isn't he dirty like the rest of us? He should be. Stop it. What are you trying to be, fancy or something? Stop it. How dare you? Ah, there. that's better. Now he looks good. Wait a minute, please. This is my father, Colonel Fairbanks. Yeah, well, he's... Your father? Oh, well, then you're a real colonel? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I thought you were an actor. I... I'm sure I could never make that mistake about you. Excuse me, sir, I didn't know. Here, let me wipe it off. Oh, well, let me help. Don't you know a real colonel from a character? I'm very sorry. I wouldn't do it for the... Come on, Dad. We'll take care of this at home. Oh, wait a minute, please. Oh, go jump in the lake. But what about our date? Aren't you going to see me? The next time I see you, I hope you're stuffed with cloves in a delicatessen window. Come, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. Don, where are you? I 
can see you, but you can't see me. <sighs> Mammy. Hey, Bert, did you see the headlines in the paper? Did you see what it says about the draft? Don't get excited, boys. It don't mean nothing. Anything the Senate starts, the president will veto anyway. Oh, you can't tell. He's liable to be in a bad mood. 21 to 40. And you're 32. I'd go in a minute if I was sure they wouldn't shoot any guns off. Besides, that would keep me off the screen for a year. What would my fans do? Maybe they're the ones who put the draft through. Not so funny. Uh, more biscuits, Mr. Bolton. They are nice and hot. Oh, thanks, Yetta. No thanks, Yetta. What's the matter? You look worried, Mr. Bolton. It looks like I'm caught in a draft. Oh, I pulled the window down. <laughs> no, it's not that kind. You'd have to pull the Senate down. He means he may have to register for the Army. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, how about you, Yetta? Did you ever register as an alien? I have no time. Oh, but I told you, you're an alien and you're supposed to register. Oh, uh, they got enough aliens. They don't need me to drive. Hey, Don, Don. What are you doing here? You don't collect your 10% of my salary till Saturday. Uh, did you see this? Did you read it? I read it right off the paper. Well, what does it say? It says I might be drafted. That's what I thought. You know what that means? That means you get $21 a month. And what do I get out of that? $2.10. I'll starve to death. I'm in favor of that part of it. Yeah, you starved to death, but what about me? Cannons, bombs, and bullets. I couldn't stand it. Hmm, I don't want any of that. Ah, oh, you two guys are just doing about nothing. Suppose they do call you. How do you know you'll pass the physical exam? That's right. Let me see your feet. My feet? What do you think? That reminds me. Did they ever find the Bremen? I wish you were on it. Let me see the other one. I'm afraid they're all right. Hey! He ain't got no little toe. Yes, he has. He just likes to cuddle. <laughs> Say, what do people do to get flat feet anyway? I don't know. What did you do to your head? What? Flat feet, huh? Hmm. Bill Robinson, get it? I get it. You should see the blisters on my feet. You should have put court plaster on them. I did. Now the court plaster's got blisters. Maybe you could shoot one of your toes off. Just that little cuddly one. You know I couldn't stand the noise. Personally, if I were you, I'd marry one of them dolls of yours. That's it. Thousands of guys are getting married to avoid the draft. Nothing doing. That's like cutting your throat to cure laryngitis. Don't have to be permanent. It's just for the duration of the emergency. Sure, then you can throw her back to the wolves. Hmm, I wonder. I'd do it in a minute. Every dame I propose to wants me to support her. Yeah, but I wouldn't know who to pick. Get me my little red book. Which volume? Boy, boss, you couldn't go wrong with this one. Couldn't I? Elaine, nice kid, but she snores. My sister went to school with her. Here, what's wrong with this one? She's got a nice, honest face. Hey, get a load of these twins. Those aren't twins, that's my girl. Your girl? She's a little plump, isn't she? Where's she now? Boulder Dam. Boulder Dam. Boulder Dam, working? She's part of it. <laughs> well, some of your numbers ain't so hot either. There's Ruth, a phony, Phoebe, Lucille, a cute redhead. Mm -hmm. Brendan Cabina. <gasps> hey, how about that? Hmm? Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I think she's the one. I'm sure of it. Oh, I'll give her a slight jingle. You forgot something, boss. What's that? She's already married. 
Oh, silly girl. Hey, well, look who's here. Hey, that's the girl you brought on the set the other day. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Now, there's a girl I think I could stand for a year. What's she got that they ain't got? Nothing, only she groups it better. I'd hate to have that old sourpuss for a father-in-law. Yes, sir. I think she's the answer to a conscriptee's prayer. Ain't you taking an awful lot for granted? Remember she told you to go jump in the lake? Oh, she was only kidding. I bet you I have her over here this afternoon. I went out with a girl once who told me to go jump in the lake. When I got back, she was gone. I don't know why. Do you? No. no. Get his nibs. Yeah, look at the fire hazard on his upper lip. I bet if he ever combed that out, a couple of forest rangers would fall out. <laughs> well? Well, what is it? It's Mr. Bolton, ma'am. He's in pretty bad shape. Yes, Miss Fairbanks, he's taking a turn for the worse. The doctors are afraid it might be permanent. Did he have an accident? What happened? Now, 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 Miss Fairbanks, you know what happened. You pushed him into the trench. I did not push him. Well, whatever you did to him, he's hurt his spine. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Did he... did he send you here? Oh, no, no, no. Only last night when he was delirious, he kept calling for you. Yeah, yeah, he kept saying, Antonio, I need you, Antonio. Who's that? Ain't that you? My name is Antoinette. Oh, <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> well, he pronounces very bad when he's delirious. We thought you might surprise him and come over. Well, I'll be very happy to. I'll slip something on. We'll wait down here. He's sitting out in the garden. Sitting with an injured spine? He's sitting, but it hurts. But he's sitting. Look. Don sure is a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Seeing you will do him a lot of good. <laughs> Miss... Miss Fairbanks. No, it can't be. Of course it is. How are you feeling? Oh, pretty good, but the spots in front of my eyes have me worried. Spots? Well, it isn't the spots so much. It's those little men playing pool with them. <laughs> well, that's what you get for not using a double. I didn't know you were so dangerous. <laughs> it's nice of you to come over. Not at all. What do the doctors have to say? Oh, it's nothing serious, just a broken back. How do you like my stone girdle? I'm really terribly sorry. I'm not. I might never have seen you again. Well, I did get to see a movie star's home after all, didn't I? My, what a lovely swimming pool. Oh, it's adequate. <clears throat> What's that over there? Another swimming pool? Oh, last year's. <laughs> uh, why don't you sit down? Thank you. All right, Chief. Oh, hello, Steve. Your x-rays. X-rays? Hey, just arrived. Oh, yes, yes. Thanks, Steve. May I see them? Oh, well, I'm just skin and bones. <laughs> Have you seen much of Hollywood since you've been here? No, not very. Well, then you still need a tourist guide. <laughs> I'm afraid it'll be a little crowded in that wheelchair. Oh, I don't think I'll be laid up very long. I heal fast. Terrific resistance. I'm sure you have. How would you like to take me out tonight? Oh, sure. Oh, tonight? Well, <laughs> I can try, of course, but those x-rays, I... If these are your x-rays, the date's off. What do you mean? If I remember my anatomy, this is an x-ray of a woman. Huh? Good day, Madam Bolton. Oh, now listen, please. Oh, wait a minute. Have a heart, will you? Look at all the trouble I went to just to get you over here, just to get to talk to you. I know I acted like an awful heel at the studio, but can't you relent just a little? Well... All right. All right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> freedom. Oh. Oh.
How'd you like to love me? How'd you like it? How'd you like to drop in? Meet my mother, how'd you like to say that? I don't want to get personal, boss. But when are you getting down to business? What do you mean? I mean, when are you going to pop the question? You know, you got to be all married before the draft is announced or it's no dice. Well, it's a funny thing, fellas, but this gal cramps my style. Hey, and you don't help me any peeking at me through that rear view mirror. Gee, I never made you self-conscious before, boss. Yeah, well, Tony's different. When I'm around her, I get the urge, but I can't think of any dialogue. Can't you remember any of that guff you give out on the screen? Hey, it was a pretty good bit in Hearts Afloat. Let's see, how'd that go? Genevieve, your eyes are like two limpid pools in the moonlight. I love you, Genevieve. If you'll only be my, uh, uh... Exemption. Ex Genevieve, sweet Genevieve. Genevieve, your eyes are like two limp pools in the moonlight. I love now, you. Now, wait a minute. This is Tuesday night, and I'm not Genevieve, I'm Tony, remember? Oh. Well, Genevieve was my grandmother's name, and you remind me of my grandmother. Of course, you're much younger. Really? Did you love your grandmother very much? Oh, yes, very much. And how well I remember the night she was killed in the theater. What happened? Well, Granny had put on weight and the runway collapsed. Oh, now listen, Tony. Just say the word and... and be my exemption. <laughs> <laughs> say, look where you're going, will you? What are you trying to say? Get a little music, will you, Bert? Get something else. A lot of help, you. That's more like it. What were you trying to say, Don? Well, Tony, I, I suppose you've gone out with a lot of young army officers. Well, yes, I have. Well, would a guy with a couple of military brushes have a chance? You know, Don, all foolishness aside, most people don't think very much of soldiers until their security is threatened. Well, right now it is. The Army needs men. Yes, they certainly do. I'll tell you what, maybe we could raise our son to be a soldier. Our son? Oh, sorry, I forgot the preliminaries. Tony, darling, I love you. I want you to marry me. I'll do anything to make you happy. Oh, Don. You'll never regret it, Tony. I'll give you the kind of home you've always dreamed about. Used to having a man in uniform around the house, you know. I'll wear one for pajamas. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this broadcast to bring you an important bulletin from the news bureau of this network. The Senate has just passed the conscription bill. The bill, which goes before the House immediately, provides for the registration of all men between the ages of 21 and 31. 21 to 31? Did you get it, boss? 21 to 31. Oh, bother with that. Darling, I want you to know you've made me the happiest girl oh, in the world. Oh, but just a minute, dear. I, I don't want you to make a decision on the spur of the moment. It's a, it's a serious thing, you know. All right. I'll count 10 before I say yes. One, two, three, four. Yeah, but I just can't rush you into this. It's not fair. It's not fair to your father. Oh, nonsense. I'm over 21. Yes, but I'm over 31. Are you trying to talk me out of it now? Oh, no, no, of course not. It's just maybe I'm too old for you. Here you are in the flower of womanhood and me just a shell of a man, a broken hulk. Oh, over 31, hmm? I think I understand. I understand perfectly. Stop the car. Huh? Let me out. Oh, now, listen, please, honey, let's talk this over. There's nothing to talk over. You, you're just yellow. Oh, Tony. Tony, wait a minute, please! Surprise! Get out! You're not going to call the colonel, are you? 
This is a job for the exterminators. Oh, but Tony, just give me a couple of minutes. The less I see of you, the better. But I've been trying to reach you for two weeks. Can't you understand? I don't want to see you. Tony, I've learned you can't put your heart in a plaster cast. Oh, stop it. You sound like an unpopular song. Well, all right, but I only came here to tell you one thing. All I want to hear from you is goodbye. Yeah, that's it. You see, I'm enlisting in the Army. Enlisting? That's right. What are you up to now? Tony, that look in your eyes when you walked out of me has kept me awake nights. I've got to put myself right with you and with my own conscience. I don't believe a word of it. Well, I didn't think you would. Why don't you come down to the recruiting station with me? Yes, you bet I'll go down with you. In fact, I'll drive you down. I'm just curious to see how you'll get out of this. My, but you're a suspicious person. Yeah, well, is, is everything set, Stevie? Yeah, practically. Tony with you? She's driving me down. That's fine. You stall around for about a half an hour and everything will be ready. Fit all right, Mr. Cogswell? Oh, just perfect, Mr. Riggs. <laughs> well, I hardly know myself. <laughs> Lucky you. Here. Take care of his clothes till he gets back. Yes, sir. Now, you understand what you have to do, Mr. Cogswell. Oh, it's very simple, Mr. Riggs. I go down to the Army recruiting station and wait for the sergeant to go to lunch. That's right. He always goes to lunch at 12 o'clock. Hmm. Then when Mr. Bolton arrives, I pretend I'm a sergeant. I take his application and I turn him down. Right. Now, when he tells you he's a little squeamish about loud noises, you tell him you can't use him. He'll argue with you, but you ignore it and turn him down. Are you sure you can do this, Mr. Cogswell? I don't want any slip-ups. Oh, don't worry about me, Mr. Riggs. Why, well, I practically live every part I play. <laughs> I'll probably wind up enlisting myself. <laughs> <laughs> Guys like you in the Army, we need a three-ocean Navy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something I can do for you, Sergeant? Uh, oh, oh, no, no, thank you. I'm just waiting for someone. Well, come in and sit down. You've been walking post out there for a half hour. Uh, thank you. But uh, I don't want to disturb you, Sergeant, and you'll uh, probably be going to lunch anyway. No, no lunch today. No lunch? No, no lunch. But you... But you got to go to lunch. Why? What's it to you? Nothing, nothing at all. But... Uh, um, are, are you sure you're not going to go to lunch? Come here, you. Oh, Mr. Riggs! Mr. Riggs! Here it is. Still skeptical, eh? I don't know. I can't quite make you off. Intriguing, isn't it? Good afternoon, Sergeant. Open for business? Sure, come right in. You're all alone, eh, Sergeant? Yeah, but it only takes one man. I suppose you want to enlist. Enlist? Brother, I want the toughest, most dangerous branch of the service. Brother, you'll get it. Here, fill this out. Okay. Say, aren't you Colonel Fairbanks' daughter? That's right. Well, Colonel Fairbanks. I did a hitch for him once in Fort Totten. That's where I seen you. Really? Hey, maybe I could be assigned to Colonel Fairbanks' outfit. Could that be arranged? Sure, that's a cinch. Don't you think that'll be cozy? Wonderful. Well, I guess that answers everything. Do I sign here? Recruiting station. Everything going along all right? Mr. Bolton, get there. Wait a minute. You Bolton? Uh-huh. Guess this is for you. Hello? Yes, Steve? It's my agent. He's winding up my personal affairs. He can't find the lids of the swimming pools. How's that phony sergeant? Ah, there's nothing to worry about. No, Steve, we'll just have to forget about my career. Tell DeMille my answer is still no. You'll have to be satisfied with Gary Cooper.
Thanks for calling, Steve. Okay, sign here. Okay, I'll sign, but how long do I have to wait for the encyclopedia? There you are. Well, if I hadn't seen it, I never would have believed it. Congratulations. Oh, you can do better than that. Well, buddy, you're in the Army now, provided, of course, you pass the physical examination. Oh, I'll breeze through that. There's only one little thing I thought I'd better mention, and I'm a little jumpy about sudden noises like pistol shots. That wouldn't make any difference, would it? No, they'll have you playing Yankee Doodle with a machine gun. Oh, sure, I... Wait a minute. You sure you're reading your lines right? What do you mean, reading my lines? Well, you're supposed to say... Say, are you really the recruiting sergeant? Well, who'd you think I was? And I've enlisted? Well, wasn't that the idea? Yeah, but it went wrong. Give me that. Are you... What are you trying to pull? I thought so. Up to your old tricks again. Well, you'll have plenty of time to think up some new ones, Private Bolton. So long. See you in the guardhouse. You got me. One thing I can tell you, don't let him cut your hair. Oh, that's not high enough. Do you take ether? We should have joined the Scotch Army. At least they wear skirts. Miss Fairbanks should get a load of you, and that's so wrong. I don't know why we had to get mixed up in this. Oh, quiet. If you hadn't botched things up, I'd be a happily married man today. You'd be what? Well, married anyway. What size bowl did they use? You guys are suckers. You should have did what I did. What did you did? Look. Had every one of them yanked out, and it was all good, too. Down. Stick out your foot. You're rejected. Flat feet. Flat feet? Holy smoke. And they were all good, too. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, what's this? Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Well, sure, I ran fifth in the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Look, a tent with sleeves in it. Well, anyway, it matches the pants. <laughs> Put it on. You'll get a draw. <laughs> Sergeant. Yeah? I'm afraid this won't do. You see, I'd like a little more drape and a little less droop. Well, why didn't you say so? We'll be only too happy to make it over for Well, you. that'll help. Yeah. What about the trousers? Well, they're a little snug under the arms. And what's in this snood back here, you hootie? Hey, what about me? You'll have to wait till the next load. We're all out of uniform. There's room for one more in here. Are your shoes okay? Oh, they're fine. He went that way. Number three, put the other half in number four. 
So this is it, huh? Watch out for the ping pong table. Whose stuff is that? Oh, it's mine, son. You can start taking it to my room. <laughs> you have a reservation, I suppose. Well, I should have. I wired ahead. I hope you're not too crowded. <laughs> <laughs> Say, let's take a look around and see what the accommodations are, huh? Yeah, go right ahead. That third tent on the left has very good cross ventilation and indirect lighting. Indirect lighting? Yeah, it comes up through a gopher hole under the stove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to be fun. Hey, Dick! Here's the mail! Yeah! Hey, Dick! Here's the mail! All right, now don't crowd in too close, man. I'll see that you get it. Don Bolton. Don Bolton. Bolton! Right here. Don Bolton. How'd they ever find me? Don Bolton. Don Bolton. Say, see who they're from, Bert. Bolton. Don Bolton. Your fan mail. That's, That's my fan mail. Don Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for me, too? Bolton. Hazel Chapman. Hazel Chapman? I don't know her. She don't know you, either. <laughs> Bolton. 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 Hey, Bert, Steve, look who's here. Don Bolton. Don Bolton. Well, I think I'll pay them a little social call. Might make things easier for us around here. Pardon. Hey, where are you going? I'll be back, but don't wait dinner for me. Bolton. 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 Twitchell. That's me. That's me. Ah, my relief check. Well. <laughs> How do you like that guy? <laughs> my own heart. Lady, I'm working my way through the army. We're raffling off an old tank. Oh, but... it's you! Oh, give me a break. Ouch, not there! Oh, now listen, Tony, be nice to me. After all, you're responsible for my being here. I'm responsible. Well, in a way. Now, I don't blame you for being angry. You were perfectly justified. I refuse to even discuss the matter. Oh. Take your foot away. Well, you're not being very patriotic. After all, I... I am a soldier. That remains to be seen. Oh, all right. I suppose I have no right to make any demands upon you. After all, you're a colonel's daughter. I'm just a stale rookie. I guess I'd better just go jump in the lake. Don. Yes? On your way there, would you mail this letter? Oh, Tony, have a heart, will you? Mine. All right. Come on in. When did you arrive? Oh, I just checked in a little while ago. Say, we're going to see a lot of each other, aren't we? Frankly, Don, I can't say. Well, what do you mean? Well, you know, Dad never did approve of our going out together. But seeing you in uniform might make a difference. I'm sure it will. Mm, I'm not. Nonsense. All you have to do is be a good soldier. Well, Tony, I'm going to try the best I know how, but I just don't fit and I can't help it. Now, you're not going to admit you're a coward. Of course I'm not a coward. I'm just allergic to bullets. How do you know? You can be scared and still be a hero. You know, some of the bravest men have been scared half to death going over the top, but they kept on going. You don't know what you'll do when those guns start to roar. I've got a pretty good idea. I've got faith in you, Don. I know you'll make good. I tell you what, Dad's in his study. Why don't you go on in and soft soap him a little? Soft soap him? Sure. When I get through with him, he'll think he's had a bubble bath. Right through there. Yes? What is it, dear? Hiya, neighbor. Neighbor? Sure, anytime you want to borrow a cup of sugar or something, don't you hesitate about... Be careful. It took me four days to set that up. That's cute. Something Santa Claus brought you? I suppose Tony sent you here. She should know better. Go back to your quarters. And tie that garter. Oh, all kidding aside, Colonel, I've got to tell you why I dropped in here. I've got something very important to talk to you about. Well, go ahead. What is it? 
I suppose you know that Tony and I kind of got a crush on each other back there in Hollywood. A crush? Well? Well, my being in the Army, a buck private, that won't make any difference, will it? Frankly, Private Bolton, I don't think you can make the grade either in the Army or with Tony. Well, what do you call making the grade? Being a colonel? Not at all. You don't have to be a colonel, a captain, a lieutenant, or even a sergeant. If you were only a corporal, it'd prove you had the right stuff in you. That's a deal. What do you mean, a deal? Well, I'm good enough for Tony as a buck private. If I get to be a corporal, will I be good enough for you? Yes, because I don't think you can make it. I'll make it all right, if you'll play fair. What? The Army always plays fair. How are you two getting on? Oh, just ducky. That's fine. You better get back to your quarters now, Bolton. OK, Chief. Skull. Oh, I'm sorry. Why, you stupid, clumsy oaf! You scatterbrained idiot! Get out of here and stay out! Temper! Get out! What's the matter with that guy? Can't he read? Right shoulder! Hand! Order! Hand! Inspection! Hand! Get back in line there, soldier. Get back in line. Come oh. up to the inspection. I'm sorry, Corporal. Order! Hans! What did he say? Hmm? I didn't get it. But would you mind repeating that order? Order! Hans! Press right! Press! Right dress, right dress. Isn't this the right dress? That's come on, soldier. Is. Come on. Snap into it. Oh, you mean that girlish thing. Ready? Hans! Red! Rest! Well, arrest at last. I thought Pick up that piece, soldier. Pick it up. Get back in the line there. Well, let's get together, shorty. Come on, get in the line. After all, it's your racket, you know. It's an outrage. How about a smile, Mr. Bowden? Wait a minute, I'll run back to the tent and get my dimples. You'll get plenty for this. Hurt! <laughs> Round, left! You'll smell them and like it. I'll smell them. Such fragrance. I don't know how they live with each other. Ah, eh. bully. What a racket. Ah, oh, so that's what happened to those things. A 
Republican, eh? Of course it isn't your fault. You can't help it if you're a public figure. I'll speak to Father. It's a little late for that. <laughs> Poor darling. Did you clean an awful lot of fish? Did I? They got me dreaming about them. I thought you dreamed about me. I do, but now you're a mermaid. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you, Don. You've turned out to be as good a soldier as the rest of them. Yeah, so far, but the fireworks haven't started yet. I don't mind carrying a rifle, but if they ever ask me to shoot one, I'm sunk. And they're gonna ask me. Oh, Dad. Yes? Don, I mean, Private Bolton and I were just talking. That little incident on the parade ground wasn't his fault. That matter is closed, but not forgotten, sir. I still smell like Pier 6 on Friday. There's no occasion for further discussion. Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Oh, but there is. It may happen again. Now, if Don were assigned to some other duties, like, like driving a car, for instance, then he wouldn't be spoiling your parades. Hmm. You drive, do you? Oh, yes, sir, with either hand. Don't I? Fine. I think we'll have a place for you in a new unit we're forming. Oh, thank you, sir. You don't know how I appreciate that, Colonel. Don't mention it. Oh, by the way, Colonel, I have a couple of friends who are very handy around cars. Do you think they could be transferred with me? Yes, I think that can be arranged. Oh, thank you, sir. There you are. See how easy it was? Oh, boy, no guns, no hiking, no kitchen police. All I got to do is drive a car. What a <laughs> cinch. Oh, oh. idea now? You want him to turn right, you bring your foot down on his right shoulder. You want him to turn left, put your foot on his left shoulder. If you want him to back up, you bring your foot down on top of his head. If you want him to go faster, you just kick a rapid tattoo on the back of his neck. Hey, will you quit talking with your feet? I got it, you sap, on account of the noise. Can't you take off your shoes and whisper? No! Is everything clear to you? Oh, it's a cinch. And you down there, you follow his signals no matter what they are, you understand? Don't do any steering on your own account. Just follow orders. Is that clear? OK, I'll let you handle it for a while. I got that other detail to take care of. Never get a ride. Sure we will. Look what's coming. Hey, we've stopped. I wish I could. Aw, oh, come on, soldier. Give us a ride, huh? Well, all right. Girlie, you'll have to wait for the meat train. Thank <laughs> you. 
diving like a dream. Capistrano. We'll get him on the next lap. Fun? No, sir. You see, sir, we were just out testing the tank and... For what, a hair ride? I might have known it was you. I'm terribly sorry about the car, sir. I hope you haven't kept up the payments. If there's anything I can do... There's something you can do, all right. Every time I look, there seems to be more and more. I feel like I'm peeling rabbits. We ought to make you peel all of them. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. And me trying to be a corporal. I'll be lucky if they don't take away my citizenship papers. I hope I can square myself with Tony. When do you figure on seeing her? About the second week in December. Quit staring at me, will you? I can't understand it. I've been peeling just as fast as you fellas. I know, but there are two of us. Oh, well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Yes, sir, we certainly made those mountains disappear. Hey, I can't open my hand. Hey, give me the... Careful now. Leave the wrist. <clears throat> Thank you. That's better. But you guys had twice as many spuds as I did. You were shirking. Come on, Steve. Colonel just left for headquarters. Well, I've got an important message for his daughter. Yeah, but she ain't up yet. Oh, well, there's no sense waking her. She's probably dreaming about me. I'll wait. It's something personal. How about you taking it on the lamb for a while? Uh, no, I gotta get my work done. Well, if you'll stay away for about an hour, I'll do your work for you. How about it? Well, that sounds fair enough. I thought it would. Right in here. There you are. Hmm, now I have to pay for this. Oh, it's not that bad. It's really very simple. All you have to do is to pick up the potato and you hold it like this. Skip it, bud. You're looking at the original boy from Idaho. I've been around potatoes since they were that high. Yeah. Here, just fit it right into the grooves. Ah, uh, it's back home. Okay, pal. See you in about an hour. Good luck. Good luck. Ye gods, doesn't anybody ever eat baked potatoes? You look old enough to undress yourself. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Colonel's orderly. I gotta get in there right away. What for? Just a minute. Come in. You're not supposed to be. What are you doing here? Get out. Well, I told you I'm the Colonel's orderly for today. I've gotta make up the bed, don't I? So I suppose I've got to get up. Well, it's gonna look awfully lumpy if you don't. But awfully nice lumps. Does the Colonel know you're his orderly today? Oh, yes. I explained everything. I think I'll telephone, just to make sure. You're the most suspicious... And you're the most scheming, unreliable, All right. lying. All right, so I bumped into your car. Did you ever try driving with a French heel in your ear? Yes, how about that? What was that girl doing in there? She wasn't my guess. She was in the apartment upstairs. I suppose you were showing off for her. Well, it's about time you forgot you were a movie star and tried to be a soldier. What's that? It's only Dad. You said he knows you're his orderly. Tony, are you there? Yes, Dad. What is it? Get that potato out of your room. Don't let him in. I can see those ten men taking aim now. Come in, Dad. Shh. I thought you had some rabbit in here. Now, don't go flying off the handle. Private Bolton is here at my invitation. Yes, sir. We were just having a little chat. Young man, I've been very lenient with you. Not because I like you, but because I don't want my personal feelings to influence my sense of fairness. I've leaned over backwards so that you won't think you're being persecuted. Thank you, sir. Dad, you know I've never tried to interfere in your military matters, but Don has really been running in bad luck. Bad luck or not. If he gets into one more jam, he'll be in the guardhouse so long, Roosevelt will be out ahead of him. For life, huh? And he calls himself fair. Cease firing! Next order on the line. Come on, snap it up. Come on, get it up, get it up, get it up. Get it up, get it up. Get it up, get it up. Come on, get it up, get it up. Stand still. This is worse than the 4th of July. Come on, come on, get it up, there. Get it up. Get it up. Well, what happened? Can't you tell me? I can give you a toenail description. What do you mean, a toenail description? I shot my captain's toe off. Oh, Don, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I know. Marry me. Huh? Oh, I know you can do better. After all, I'm no bargain. Are you really serious about marrying me? No ifs? No buts? No fooling? Nothing up your sleeve? Nothing but my right arm, and I'd cut it off for you. Honest, Tony, I'm leveling this time. I believe you, Don. What does a soldier do to get married? Well... First, he has to get his commanding officer's approval. Oh, no. Oh, yes. You're just a rookie, you know. Uh, no rookie at this. You'll never get to be a corporal doing this. Just wait till maneuvers are over. But I found a way. What do you mean? Well, Dad is organizing a new unit, and I've interceded for you. Oh, great. Uh -huh. He's going to put you with the parachute jumpers. Parachute jumpers?
was the matter up there? I wanted to jump. I won't be disgraced this way. I wanted to jump, but he wouldn't let me. Didn't give me time. He landed too soon. Are you blooming idiot? You didn't have any parachute. What? Oh. Oh. No parachute. you do what I do. What's that? <laughs> There's plenty of time to dress after retreat. Oh, boy, now you're talking. <laughs> That's really streamlined. immediately for special guard duty. Corporal Sheev, Private Thompson, Fowler, and Bolton. How many are dismissed? Oh, Sergeant. Yeah? Have I got time to go back to my tent for a few minutes? No, you're going to be on guard duty at the hospital till midnight. Now get going. Oh, but Sergeant. Get going. I... Gee, Don, looks like you're stuck. And in my underwear, thanks to you. I'll be in a fine mess if I get caught. And besides, I'm cold. Why don't you beat your arms together? That's not where I'm cold. Hey, Bolton! Coming, Corporal. Hey, look, don't worry. I'll get your uniform and bring it out to you. And slip a hot water bottle in the pants. Right shoulder, harm. Forward, harm. Still expect to get stripes on that sleeve? Yes, sir. I'll make it. Hmm. It'll be a big surprise to me. I don't think you'll ever be a soldier, Bolton. Now, Dad, that's unfair. He certainly looks like a soldier. Anybody would with that on. It's what's underneath that counts. And you haven't shown very much. No, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I'll have something soon. Come on, Tony. Don't stop to chat with a man on duty. Be right with you, Dad. Don, I want to warn you about Dad. You know what he said? Just one more slip and he's going to transfer you to another camp, like, like the Philippines or Alaska or somewhere. But he can't do that. Oh, yes, he can, and he will. And you know what that means as far as you and I are concerned. So please, be careful. Okay so far, huh? Yeah, but I'll have to take my coat off when I eat with the guard. How about you walk and post for me, Steve, while I put my uniform on? Oh, no, no, not me. Bert? I got a date with Margie. Oh, a fine couple of pals. They catch you deserting your post, you'll get life, and so will we. I'll get worse if they catch me in my underwear. Oh, come on, it'll only take a couple of minutes. Hello there. I got a pass so we can stay out late tonight. Oh, that's fine. Well... I guess I'll be running along. Yeah, me too. I... Sure, go ahead. Walk out on me. What's he all hit up about? He ain't got no pants on. They're here. Honest? Well, come with me. I'll show you where you can put them on. Well? Okay. I'll take a chance. I'll be back in a flash. Come on. There you are. You'd forget your head if it wasn't on your shoulders. You'll be safe. 
safe in there for a few minutes. Yeah, we stay out here and watch. Okay. You go back to the other ward. I'll be right off. in a hurry. Never mind. Do you know where the laundry is? This is no time to stop and wash your underwear. A maid came in and took my clothes away in the laundry bin. You gotta get them back for me. Well, I'll go down to the laundry and see if I can find them. Steve, you help me look. Oh, don't go away now. No. Tattooed pictures he had all over him. And very interesting, too. Shut that window, Mary. It's kind of chilly. Let's leave it open. We need some air. Then push that screen in front of it. Oh, I have to work Saturday night. What's the difference? You wouldn't have any fun anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody, do you think I'm getting fat? Will somebody please shut that window? Here you are. That'll fix you up. Well, I'm all out, but there's plenty left. I'll be back in just a minute, soldier. She ain't giving me no castor oil. Naughty boy, trying to deceive your nanny. Thanks, buddy. Oh, it's nothing at all. Hey, you want to scram, will you? Huh? You go that way and I'll go this way. March! March! Where have you been? Looking for you. Where do you think I've been? Well, let's not argue. Have you got everything? Of course I have. Here's your overcoat, and here's your coat and pants, and... <gasps> Shut that door. I suppose you have an explanation for this, too. Oh, stop being ridiculous. I went on guard duty tonight without my uniform. I didn't have time to change. You gotta believe me, Tony. It's the truth. That's right, miss. I was just trying to help him. Of course I believe you, but you've got to get back to your post quick. You'll never get out of this mess if they ever catch you. Come on, we'll find a room where you can dress. Oh, Tony! I'm sunk. You both! Run quick! Stop! Come back here! I'll have you shot for this! What's the matter with you, Dad? That isn't Don Bolton. That was one of the patients, an old friend of mine. I know Bolton when I see him. I'm tired of his shenanigans. He's gone too far this time. Oh, but Dad! It's from your wife. She's going to the hospital any day now to have that baby. Well, that's great. Gee, I hope it's a boy.
And here's our last brave little man. Oh. Open your mouth. Oh. Come on now, or I'll call the nasty doctor. And you know what he'll do to you. Oh. I wish I was dead. No use oh. talking about it any further. I understand perfectly. You're trying to protect him. That's what you're doing. Now listen, Dad. And I won't stand for it. Dad, you're being ridiculous. You saw him walking his post out in front. Yes, I did. And we'll go right back and see if he's still there. If he isn't, heaven help him. Of course he's still there. Now, Dad, you can be awfully aggravating at times. It's simple enough to prove who's right. Come on. Wait a minute. Are you all through here? Yes, of course. Well, what did the doctor say about your liver? It's lovely. Will you come on? You've got to head him off. Okay, okay. Colonel Fairbanks? Yes, yes. What is it? Major Balsam presents his respects, sir, and the curtain flies the brand from the battalion Sturton. It's very urgent, sir. What? The Major's Sproutle guns are scrutling all over the parade grounds, and uh, battle fronts cannot march. I can't understand the words you're saying. He says that the Major's scruttle sniff and the squads are fiddle-stepping all over the sergeant. Oh, put it in writing. Oh, now, Dad, wait a minute. Hey, Bert, I'll be right down. Feel all right, Bolton? Just fair, sir. You look a bit under the weather. I know just the thing to fix you up. I'll have the doctor give you a good dose of castor oil. Don't get excited. It's only a mock battle. Don't forget to stuff your ears. No, I won't stuff my ears. This is my chance to prove to Tony that I'm as good a soldier as the rest of you. But I wish it were over. Bolton! Yes, Sergeant. What's the matter? You look like you was dying. Oh, I'll be all right, Sergeant. I'm a little nervous about the shooting, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm a little worried about you, too. I think I'd better put you where you'll be safe. Oh, no, Sergeant. Don't do that. I can see it through. I've got to see it through. Yeah, I'll tell you what to do. You see that hill away over there? Yeah? I want you to stay there till the sun goes down. They tell me the view is simply breathtaking. Oh, but the Blue Army's coming from that direction. That'll be our little secret. Oh, now listen, Sergeant. I want to stay right here. You'll go where I tell you to. Oh, give him a break, Sarge. Let him stay, will you? Listen, I'm taking no chances on him coming up to work. Now, go on, get going. Oh, that ain't fair. It's a dirty shame. Yeah, well, just for that, you two can go with them. Go on, it's an order. We're far enough behind the lines to be generals. I had an uncle who was a hero in the last war. Broke up a gas attack, single-handed. How, with bicarbonate and soda? What's that shooting? Must be some other outfit having maneuvers. Okay, boys, I fixed it. You fixed what? Where have you been? You know where them five roads meets back there? Yeah. Yeah, that's the way the Blue Army's coming up to engage our outfit. They're coming, all right, but they'll never engage nobody. I switched the road signs. <laughs> you did. What? What'd you say? Yeah, if they follow the signs, they'll be going that way. Don't you see? They'll get lost. And the colonel will win today's battle without firing a shot. <laughs> and who'll be the heroes? <laughs> the three musketeers. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, 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 I can't believe it. They ought to fix you up good with Tony and the colonel. Oh, I'd like to see that sergeant keep me out of the next battle. <laughs> you know, fellas, I've been feeling a lot braver lately. What? Oh, boy, let's celebrate. We'll all have a drink. <laughs> yeah, draw one for me. Make mine milk. Better run till it gets nice and cold. Put an egg in mine. Hey, I can't get anything out of this. We'll try another station. <laughs> hey, look who's coming. 
It's Tony. The sergeant probably told her where I am and why. Oh, wait till she hears your good news. Hello. Hello. Hiya, honey. Glad you came. We need a fourth for bridge. Don, you shouldn't have walked out on this battle today. I didn't walk out. The sergeant put me out. I don't believe you. I think you crawled out because you're scared. All right, if that's the way you feel about it. Oh, listen, Tony, you're all wrong about Don. He really wanted to be in that battle today. But there ain't gonna be any battle. <laughs> what do you mean? The Blue Army's going this way instead of that way. Napoleon here switched the road sign. I did it for Josephine and the little kiddies. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Wait a minute. Which way did you switch those signs? I switched it so they'd be going through there. There they are now. Where? See, way over there. Don, come here. Come here, quick. Huh? Those troops, they're moving into the artillery target range. Look. Where? Where's the target range? Right over there. Look. We've got to head them off. Well, can't they see the shells bursting? No, the woods are in the way. By the time they see them, it'll be too late. But they can hear. They'll think it's Dad's army firing blanks. Come on. Get your helmets. How do you like this? We have to send for another army. The colonel's kind of early with his gunfire. Yeah. I can't imagine what he's shooting at. Well, which way do we turn? Wait a minute. Don, we can't turn. Somebody's got to go through the target field. It's the only way to head them off in time. You can take my horse. Are you crazy? We might be killed. I haven't time to argue with you. Are you going? Maybe we can telephone the artillery gunners. Or maybe write them a letter. You better not go, Tony. Oh, Tony, please. You better stay here. Tony, stop. Wait a minute. Come on, Bert. Tony. Tony. I'm going there. Come back. Gonna let you do that. Try and stop me, you coward. Just a minute, I'll go myself. I don't believe you. This is the first time I ever socked the lady, except in self defense. Sorry. Take her out of here, Bert. You stay here with Tony. Nothing doing. I own 10% of you, and I'm gonna protect her. Okay, if you can ride at 10% of the horse. I'm very it. happy with five. Okay. See an idea? He's more important to this trip than you are. What happened? A beautiful right cross to the button. Done. Where is he? Now, take it easy. You're not going anyplace. Is Don trying to go through? Yeah. Oh, I knew he had this stuff in him. I knew he wasn't a coward. Here, let me see. They've been hit. Hey, is the horse under you? I thought he was on top of me. Again. They're down again. I don't see them. No. Come out once a year. <coughs> hey, look. Vultures. Vultures? They must know something. Anyway, the Red Cross will have two less sweaters to knit. Yeah. Come on, hurry. Don't rush me. Heaven can wait. They're almost there. 
of your company commander, you've been appointed corporal and be respected and obeyed accordingly by order of Colonel Fairbanks. Nice work, corporal. I've recommended you three men for a citation. Oh, thank you, sir. And for the promotion. I promoted something else for you, too. Really? Go on. She's waiting for you right now. You're excused. Oh, thank you, sir. By virtue of my authority as Justice of the Peace, I now pronounce you man and wife. Two dollars, please. Yes, sir. Pay the man. 